Today I'm out fishing with my buddy Rob. We're making a commercial for Chrome Killer Tackle. That's Rob's company. Right now in the river there's a bunch of silver salmon up here still, late into the season. Um, and they're all spawning. So what we've been doing is picking off the trout from behind them that are feeding on their eggs as they spawn and drift down the river. So right now we're fishing kind of a deeper pocket that's down below a big gravel bar here and all the salmon are up on the gravel bar doing their thing and the, as they spawn their eggs will wash down the river. And the trout like to hang out in these deeper pockets and just eat up the eggs as they come down. So drifting the beads through, it's just a salmon egg imitation. And, We've got an 11 gram Raven float just stuck on there with uh, a couple pieces of silicone tubing. A little swivel. I like to run a swivel uh, pretty high up in my rig to so if I need be I can retie a whole rig real quick. A bunch of split shot space down the line to another little swivel. I got an eight pound fluorocarbon leader with my 10 millimeter bead and a hook. Trout bite the bead, and then the hook bites the trout. Fins. The fins are red. Okay, he's free. <laughs> Take that any day of the week. So I cut my teeth in cold water streams that flow into Lake Superior. Um, I learned a lot about the fish and how to catch them. I started traveling all over the state of Michigan chasing steelhead. I got into making beads, um, pretty much just doing it for myself. All my buddies started wanting beads and then I just started painting more and more and then started selling them all over the place. With Chrome Killer Tackle, I really try and make some super realistic beads. 
I've got a few colors that I feel are really good imitations for what is actually in the river. Trout fishing has become one of my passions because it's something that I put a lot of time and effort into. The fish, they really are pretty special. I feel like when you get the chance to tangle with a large trout or steelhead, um, it's really a special experience. It's not something that everyone gets to do every day. This color is Orange Frost. It, I'm a big fan of this color. It's uh, kind of a washed out orange with a little bit of white and some uh, UV fluorescent orange over the top. It's a good mix for when the fish are keyed in on eggs that maybe they're behind some spawning salmon or something and the, the eggs are getting a little bit washed out as they come down the river. Um, so adding a little bit of white to the bead helps match that natural color, but the UV still helps that bead stand out in the river. This year is commercial videography. So being able to work with Rob, who's a buddy, and his business is kind of a good way for me to practice. You know, I've been lucky enough to catch a lot of really good fish. And these days I'd rather make a video than catch another one. So what I want to do, the dream, is to be able to travel around to different fishing lodges and guides and recreational businesses in Alaska and help them grow their businesses by telling stories, making videos. So that's what I'm doing here today with Chrome Killer Tackle. I've been working as an artist for three years now and I'm kind of looking for something a little bit different. I want to make movies. So I've upgraded my camera. I got a Lumix S5 professional videography camera. I'll link all of Rob's information in the description below. I am making a commercial and I'll put that in the description as well. You can also check it out on my website at keenifilm.com. But let me know what you think of the new kind of deviation in my career path and tell me if you can tell the difference between this camera and my old camera. Thanks for watching. See you next time. How's the fishing? Hmm? How's the fishing? <laughs>